What's up, superstars? Back at you again today with another video. I'm out just uh, doing some errands on a Sunday. You know, things are uh, starting to open up a little bit in the phase two in some areas. Uh, you know, everything that's going on with the George Floyd situation, everybody been uh, watching and protesting and all that. But my thing is, what I want to see most of all, I want to see it continue, you know, because right now it's the wave. So everybody's jumping on, everybody's doing the yeah, Black Lives Matter, say yada yada. But what I want to see is, I want to see what it's going to be like once everything calms down. You know, because right now, yeah, everybody's up in arms and everybody's trying to say the right things and do the right things. But a lot of people that are saying the right things don't mean it, you know. And we're not going to really know until, you know, some time. So, you know, I think that, that we as, uh, as black people have to, you know, not allow things to go back. And then the, the people, white people in other nations, uh, they have to also stay on their P's and Q's to not try to revert back to what was natural or comfortable for them. You know, because at the end of the day, uh, us being treated fairly doesn't mean that someone else has to be treated unfairly. You know, us, us getting things in a better place the way it should be uh, doesn't mean that someone else has to suffer. So, and that's the thing that I don't think people uh, understand. People want to say, uh, oh, all lives matter and blue lives matter. Well, all lives aren't the ones getting murdered for free. It's us. So, I don't want to hear that mess. We all lives matter and blue lives matter and all that, man. Save all of that for somebody else. I Personally, I don't want to hear that. Some people might not like it, but oh well, I don't care. Because that's how I feel. Um, no one has to go through the things that we have to go through on a daily basis. Just walking out of your house, you know, just driving your car that you pay your hard-earned money for, that you go to work for. Going to work, it can be a hassle. You know, somebody get behind you, want to, you know, harass you or pull you over because you're in a certain type of car. And, oh, if you're this color in this car, then what are you up to? No, that's not okay. You know, so I think that this the things that have happened were necessary just like I said before I think that you know even a rioting and everything was necessary because just sometimes the peaceful protests aren't enough until you start uh, hurting the people's pockets do they want to say hold on okay what's going on what's the problem what do we got to do to make this stop you know and hopefully it's not a temporary thing where it goes right back and then we got to go back through all of this all over again you know like it's happened so many times i mean we haven't rioted or protested the way we have in those past cases so maybe that's like a sign to some to say okay we gotta we gotta change this for real instead of just glossing over and acting like we're trying to do something so uh, I mean, like everything, all time always tells the tale, you know. But right now, I just think that uh, you know it's going to be calm for a little while. I want to, I'm going to take a wait and see approach. That's that's where I'm at with it. And and two, I want to say this: that we as black and brown people have to be mindful about how we carry ourselves, the things we do, the things we say, because sometimes we act a way that makes people feel justified and how they view us or treat us and that's that's up to us to not allow that to be the case too you know so we have to hold ourselves to a higher regard and then we have to hold them to a higher regard for how they uh, interact with us as well you know how they talk with us how they act with, around us you know all of those things everything but it has to be uh we have to be complicit in this change. You know, we can't just sit back and say, oh, we're gonna yell and scream and fuss and we're not gonna do better within ourselves, you know? Because yeah, we have to do better, but we have to hold them to doing better as well. But it, uh, everything that starts, starts with, with you. You know, if you wanna make a change, you change yourself, you change your ways, you view things, and then you, then you take the time to hold others accountable and not let it let it be uh, a less than type of thing you know don't let them feel like okay well we did this and now everything is okay can't do it you know won't do it can't do it so that's you know for me that's how I see this whole situation you know there's so much 
injustice. And and the wild thing is, is that it's worldwide. You know, there's a lot of racism going on in all over the place. Yeah, you do go to some places, and because you're in tourist areas, because you know you don't see the thing. So sometimes you go into, as a black person, I'm going to be going to an island, and you know it's a different atmosphere, and you don't feel that same tension. Like I often say, when we travel outside the world, that it, you know that's where, as odd as it is, America's supposed to be the place where you are free but I feel free when I'm everywhere other than America and that's a problem right there too that says a lot about this country you know if your freedom comes when you're not here in the country that's supposed to be free that re supposedly represents freedom then that's a problem that needs to be addressed you know that's not something that someone can sit back and say oh they're just complaining or no no that's this is real you know this is things that you know some nations some uh, nationalities don't understand because they they don't have to deal with it they aren't affected by it but this is real you know this is everyday life you know it's it's crazy like it's i mean there's been so many instances where i mean me and some of my friends like have had to go to the police station for things that they did that were wrong you know what i mean and we just wasn't gonna stand for it but we you know they they assaulting people like they're a gang. Oh, no, nah, you're not going to do that. That's, you know, we're not going to accept that. We go up there and, I mean, it didn't come to nothing because at the end of the day, we went up there being angry and, you know, dealing with things the same way that they were. You know, we going to the police station like we're going to fight the police to try to, you know, let them know that we're not going to accept that, that it's not okay. But the only thing that does is make them they call all point bulletin or whatever they do to say emergency 911 and you get a hundred police cars pull up and now you know you it's all in vain because now they you're fighting because they're trying to now get overly aggressive because there's so many of them that they feel more confident within themselves you know and 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 that's the thing is with most of these cases it's always the the few you know, that taints the many. You know, with the same way that why people look at black people the way they do and say, oh, they criminal, they just say, no, it's only a few people that's acting that way. And you all are allowing a few to make you feel like that every one of us is that way. And that's just not the case. You know what I mean? Uh, and then it's, there's so many things that go into different things. So we have to deal with everything for what it is. Like all white cops aren't bad, all black cops aren't bad, but some white cops and some white cop, black cops are bad. I mean, that's the way it is. They do things, they feel that that badge gives them authority to do whatever they want to do, and that's not the case. And as a, as a citizen, as an individual, I know it's hard right now, especially for us, because they've been killing us for free. Yeah, now it's a change right now, but like I say, we gotta wait and see. Uh, how things go if it's going to stay this way it's going to keep progressing or if it's going to regress the way how it generally does you know it just nothing changes so we'll see it's like uh i was listening to the uh wife of the uh late ben chili uh founder uh was talking about how they were doing this back in the 60s you know marching for the same thing that we're marching for right now yeah you know people want to say it's gotten better no it, i mean on some levels it has but the core of the problem still remains the same and so we have to deal with that you know what i mean there's so many laws that are antiquated laws that are still on the books that give loopholes for situations like this why it's so hard to prosecute in a lot of cases you know it's i mean shoot lynching is still on the books in some country in some states i mean this you know what i mean so this is one of those things that we have to we got to attack it at its core you know we got to change we got to get laws changed you know if laws don't change then everything that we're doing you know is it gonna amount to nothing you know they're gonna play nice nice and slowly but surely things are gonna start to regress back when everybody settles in you know and because it affects us directly we the main ones who have to not allow things to just kind of regress back because it you know i mean we dealing with it so if we allow things to go back what do you think that anyone else that isn't affected by this on a daily basis yeah it's going to be easy for them to just sit back and be like yeah well you know it's no big deal that it's over with now so everything is back to normal huh?
they, we got to create a new normal. The new normal has to be established. It has to be maintained, and and and, and we have to be the ones that ensure that it's maintained. You know, and it's not always talking about violence, but we have to uh, keep their feet to the fire. I mean, I think that we need to, now we need to move to the next step. We, we protested, we rioted. Now we need to start uh, going after these laws in these different states, you know, uh, stop and frisk and all of this stuff. All of these things need to be addressed. They need to be changed. They need to be stopped because they're only stopping and frisking us. You know what I mean? Racial profiling and all of that. No, that's only happening to us. Every black person you see in a nice car doesn't mean that they're selling drugs. Every black person that you see with nice things don't mean that they're stealing. You know what I mean? So, and guess what? The majority of the people aren't doing any, either of those things. You understand? So, so these things need to be changed. It, it, when a person breaks the law, then the police have a job to do. I understand that, but it's not killing them, you know, at any point. They're not the judge or an executioner. If someone's not threatening their life, then they don't have cause to use deadly force. You know, that's period, point blank and period. You know what I mean? You, you It's never okay to put your foot, your knee or foot or anything else on somebody's neck, you know what I mean? Or, or to hold them in a place or a position where they can't breathe for a prolonged period of time. That's torture. You can, I mean, just think about it. Just imagine somebody stopping you from breathing. Go under the water right now and, and hold your breath as long as you can to try to stay there and watch how horrible that feels. And just imagine that, he died that way. And not just him, you understand? It's not just him. You know, people getting pulled over with no weapons and they shooting them all up and then getting away with it. That's not okay. That's not okay. So we gotta, we can't let things go back to the way that they were and we gotta continue to ensure that things move in a forward direction that, that this isn't, uh, temporary situation it becomes the normal so uh, I think I've been rambling on for a little bit superstars I just this is something that you know I just wanted to talk about and say something about because you know now is the time you know we're gonna see what's really going on right now because up until now everybody's been you know, I mean to me it's like playing make-believe you, you know everybody's upset and you know they're saying all the right things and doing all the right things but let's let's really see how real it is you know so you know, uh just you know keep all of these things in mind uh make sure that you're doing the things you're supposed to do that you don't get them the right to try to use uh, excessive force you know that you don't justify their actions you know try to uh be uh you know humble in a situation but maintain the, the the fact that you have rights don't let them violate your rights you know but you have to be mindful how you speak to them because they're going to try to use anything to justify their actions so we have to be smart with what we do and we i mean it can't be a situation where we just tell them something we're going to go out and kill the police because that's just i mean that's just not the smart way that's not going to solve anything it's just going to escalate violence and it's going to be a worse situation they're going to try to call martial law or do something crazy because this whole governmental system is out of out of whack to be honest with you it's supposed to be the people in control and they are uh public servants but now they think that they are the, the, you know they're in control and that we are here to appease them <laughs> you know gotta make them happy or make them feel the, this way or that way to make them do what they were supposed to do i think to me what we need to do is we need to vote everybody out of office get all new people in with, to make them understand and then every time that they're not doing what we supposed to do what we know that they supposed to do we got to get them out of office and don't let them back in office keep on doing it until we start finding people that are about what they say and doing the things they're supposed to do that's how we're going to start you know we got to start with the local level and then escalate it up you know council members and all of that to to governors and senators it needs to go all the way through all the way through we need to make sure that whoever's not doing what they're supposed to be doing they up out of there period point blank and that's how we're going to enact change you know and i know because uh, sometimes like even myself i didn't vote in the uh trump and clinton election because it was like to me what my exact words were you 
you got a, a vote against Satan and, and the devil. Who you gonna choose? You know what I mean? Because anybody that think Hillary ain't a demon, she's just as much of a demon as Trump is because, and, and maybe even a little worse because Trump is so, he's not a politician, so he didn't, he don't know the game. He don't know how to speak one way while he's doing something else. Hillary is a master at it. So she, you would have never known what she was thinking while she was slitting your throat. She'd be smiling at you and taking pictures. You understand? So. We gotta be mindful, and it's, it's always gonna be tough because they decide who the people are that we have to pick from, and they're gonna put that kind of people in place. So that's why we have to change who they are. You know what I mean? We gotta change everything. We, we gotta tear the system down the way it is and rebuild it, and it's a process. It's a long process, but as long as we start it, then at some point we'll finish it. So, guess I had a lot on my mind, so. I hadn't been talking to y'all for a little bit, but I wanted to get back to it. So, uh, like I say, things are starting to open up and get a little looser, more loose. So, we'll see how it's going to be. And uh, we'll try to get out and start doing some things that, you know, a little more. We'll try to get out and start doing some things that are a little more interesting for you all to want to watch. And, you know, hopefully start to subscribe. So y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy this day. It's a sunny day. It's a beautiful day. Uh, stay safe. Stay smart. Stay protected. You know, uh, keep keep in mind who you, what your rights are. Defend your rights because they're yours and they can't be taken away by an individual. You know, but just be mindful how you go about it. So, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. Do all those good things, superstars, and. We'll chat again real soon. Peace.